Welcome! In this tutorial, we will learn how microagents can communicate with each other by capturing related message types and handlers using protocols. We will use the restaurant booking demo shown in an earlier video, but this time creating two different protocols, one for table querying and one for the table booking process. Let's get started. First, we will create a folder and name it booking demo. Inside this folder, we will create another folder for the protocols and a main.py file, which we will modify later on. Let's start by defining the querying protocol. Navigate towards the protocols folder and create a Python script named query.py. We will begin with the query.py script by importing the needed modules. We will import enum to be able to create enumerations. And from microagents, we will import context, module, and protocol. In this query.py script, we want to create a protocol that queries the status of tables in a restaurant. The protocol consists of two message models, query table request and query table response. We will first define an enumeration class, table status, using the enum class from the enum module. This will contain two members, reserved and free. Next, we want to define two data models using the model class from the microagents module. The query table request, which has a single attribute, table number of type integer, representing the table number to query. And query table response, which has a single attribute status of table status. Finally, we then create an instance of the protocol class from the microagents module named QueryProto. We will add a QueryProto.onMessage decorator that it is used to register a handler function for the query table request messages. The handle query request function takes a context object, a sender identifier, and a query table request object as parameters. The function checks if the requested table is already booked by checking the storage of the context object using the ctx.storage.has method. If the table has been already booked, the response status attribute is, is set to reserved. Otherwise, the response status attribute is set to free. The function also logs the query and the status of the query table using the CTX logger object. Finally, the response is sent back to the sender using the CTX.send method. We can now proceed by writing the booking protocol script. First, let's create a Python script named book.py. We will define the protocol for booking tables in the restaurant. Booking book table request has a single attribute table number of type int, and book table response has a single attribute success of type boolean, indicating where if the table was successfully booked or not. Inside the book proton message decorator, we define handle book request function. The function checks if the requested table is already booked by checking the storage of the context object. If the table has already been booked, the response success attribute is set to false, otherwise to true. Finally, the book table response is sent back to the sender. We now move to the main.py script we created at the beginning of this tutorial. We import the following modules from the two protocols we defined before to make them directly callable and used from our main script. 
We then proceed by creating two instances of the agent class, restaurant and customer. The restaurant agent includes both query proto and book proto protocols, which means it is capable of handling requests and responses related to querying table status and booking tables. We then move to define the agent's behavior and functions. The following code sets up an interval in which customer agent sends a query table request message to the restaurant agent's address every three seconds. Here, agent customer is requesting to know if table 42 is available. The function checks if the request has already been completed by querying the completed value on storage. This is done to avoid duplicate requests. This is a message handler that is triggered when the system receives a query table response from the restaurant. The function checks the status of the table and if it's free, it attempts to book a table by sending a book table request message to the sender. If it's not free, it logs a message indicated that there's nothing more to do. We are now ready to move to the last part of our script. The following is a message handler function that is triggered when the system receives a book table response message. The function checks the success field in the message and if it's true, it logs a message indicating successful reservation. If it's false, it logs a message indicating otherwise. The last part of the code creates a bureau object and adds two agents into it. The bureau object is responsible for managing the communication between these two agents. We are now ready to run our main.py script. First, let's activate a virtual environment. Now we can run our main.py script with Python 3 main.py. As we can observe in the terminal, the table is free, so we can attempt to book it. And finally, the table reservation was successful. Thank you for watching.